a school in Britain threatens legal action, after a Muslim girl is told that her skirt is too long. Siham Hamoud, a 12-year-old girl, refused to wear a shorter skirt and now her parents face court over unauthorized absences. Siham described being bullied for her religious beliefs, after being sent home every day in December from Muxbridge High School in Hillingdon, West London, and told to only come back when she wore a shorter skirt. She had been wearing an ankle-length skirt to school for years, but said she was shocked when teachers last month told her the attire was incorrect uniform. The school says girls should wear black trousers or a black pleated skirt from official uniform suppliers. However, Siham's father, Idris Hamoud, said short skirts contravene the family's religious beliefs, and his daughter had refused to attend school. The school has now threatened him and his wife, Salma Yusuf, with legal action over their daughter's alleged unauthorized absences. Siham, who is now studying from home due to COVID lockdown restrictions, described feeling bullied for her beliefs. It makes me feel left out, because I can't see my friends. They aren't accepting me for my religion and that's wrong, she said. I feel confused and annoyed that I can't wear what I want for my religion. I hope they'll change their rules so that girls like me wear skirts to school. A new school rule about the length of skirts was introduced two years ago, stating shorter branded skirts had to be worn. But the family claimed they only recently became aware of this change, and Siham continued wearing her longer skirt, unaware she was breaking any rules. Until she was spoken to by teachers on 1st of December. On that day she was sent home to change, but did not return to school. The same thing happened each day for the three weeks of term in December, her family said. Siham's older sisters, Sumaya and Ilham, both wore longer skirts to school without issue. The mood, an athletics coach, said his daughter was being denied an education because of her religious beliefs. All Siham wants to do is to wear a skirt which is a few centimeters longer than her classmates, and I don't know why the school has such a problem with this. She is sent home to change into a shorter skirt and return to school later that day, but she isn't going to change her beliefs in an hour. The school is threatening to take legal action against me. But I'm not forcing her to wear a longer skirt, it's her faith and her decision to make. She used to love school, but now she goes to school crying because of this, it's heartbreaking. The school sent the parents a letter on 9th of December threatening action. It said, Siham's absence is being recorded as unauthorized. Unauthorized absence may result in a fine being issued, or legal action being taken against the adults who have parental responsibility or day-to-day -day care of your child. Legal action can be in the form of a penalty notice or a summons to the magistrate's court. I must ask that you support the school and your daughter by ensuring that she attends school in full school uniform with immediate effect. The school's principal, Nigel Clements. This matter is currently subject to examination through the formal school complaints policy. It would therefore not be appropriate to comment further at this time. It has become very hard for Muslims to practice their religion freely in the West. It looks like the Western political powers are hell-bent on making the lives of Muslims miserable. Every day we hear new rules and regulations that limit our ability to practice our religion. Recently, French President Emmanuel Macron made a speech in the Paris suburbs, in which he promised a law to combat radical, Islamic separatism. He called on Muslim organizations to negotiate and sign, a charter accepting the principles of secularism, democracy and the rule of law. He called for the creation of an Islam de France. The French principle of laicite, all religions are allowed, none is favored, the state is strictly secular, was dismissed as a cover for widespread discrimination, racism and Islamophobia. This comes as no surprise as Macron is an ex-Rothschild banker. So he is just following orders from his higher-ups. Recently, children from the Netherlands were presented with these questions on an online test. They had to choose the option which did not fit with the others. The option that did not fit had to be dragged to the bin. This is the kind of fear and hate they are trying to teach their children. This comes as no surprise, as the Dutch government had to resign, after it had been discovered that they racially profiled immigrant families. The fall of the government was triggered by a report from a parliamentary investigative committee into a child allowances scandal. Tax inspectors accused thousands of families of fraud of child support payments. Some of these families had to pay back large amounts of money, which pushed many into poverty. What really is fascinating is that they have left their own religions, and adapted atheism and scientism as their way of life. And they want us to lose our religion too. But they failed to realize that atheism and scientism has lead them to nihilism. It comes as no surprise that the Western world is the leading consumer of antidepressants in the whole wide world. Some 38 million Americans struggle with depression. The World Health Organization projects that by 2030, the amount of disability and life lost due to depression will be greater than that from war, accidents, cancer, 
stroke or any other health condition besides heart disease. So dear brothers and sisters, be firm in your commitment to your Lord, and do not fall under the pressure, of those who are in neglect. The only reason we were put on this earth, was to worship Allah, and obey His Messenger. There's no doubt we are living in difficult times, with fitna reaching us from every aspects of our lives. Remember, the Hadith when the Prophet said, we will be rewarded 50 times more than the Sahaba. The Prophet said, take care of yourself and don't worry about the affair of the general populace, because there are indeed ahead of you days that require patience. Whoever is patient during those days will be like someone holding to a burning coal. And the one who does this from them will have the reward of 50 men who do what he is doing. The companions asked, Messenger of Allah, the reward of 50 of those with him? He said, the reward of 50 of you. You were born alone, you will die alone, and you will be questioned, alone.